We'll be playing our annual 4th of July games when some lucky audience members get to participate and win some cool stuff, cash and prizes, plus many more holiday surprises. So tune in tomorrow. Here comes a star of stage and uh. screen. She does it all. She acts. She's a singer. She's a dancer. Now she's the newest judge on something called <laughs> So You Think You Can Dance. I've heard of it. Please welcome Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> She look absolutely stunning. Thank you. Look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Now you've been doing my job lately. You went. You hosted the Billboard Awards. I did. How did you get on? Did you like it? Uh, it I no? did. I was terrified. Yeah. Um, in my mind, I knew I was going to be okay, but the entire day leading up to it, I was just shaking. Right. Yeah. Uncontrollably. It didn't help that me and my best friend shared two bottles of wine the night before. <laughs> but you they know, thought it was gotta live. You're Vegas. We were in Vegas. It exactly. could have been much worse. So. And did you meet some exciting people? Oh my gosh. Did you yeah. meet It was them? insane. I yeah. felt like I was in a dream the entire time. Well, first of all, Drake gave me a shout out. I was like, say what? <laughs> 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 and then I got to meet Celine Dion, which is, she is the reason why I started singing. Yeah. Like I, I had her album and I would put it in my karaoke machine and get my microphone and sing along and belt out her songs almost every single day. Did you day, tell her so. that when, when you met I her? I mean, I, yeah. I was just like, I came in and I was kind of speechless yeah. and then I was like you are the reason why I sing <laughs> like, just freaking out and she's like oh you're so sweet it's so nice to meet you and she's like can we take a photograph and I was like yeah <laughs> and she's like oh merci beaucoup merci and I was like I love you I can't even handle it and you met Cher uh, as well I didn't get to meet oh, Cher oh you didn't she no. was there she was there she performed and I danced my face off okay oh, yeah brilliant. it was so much fun it was such an amazing experience so you knew early on that this was your calling because we, we said in the intro you do it all yeah I mean I was born a performer like popped out of the womb and I was ready to sing and dance right I just love being on the stage uh. I just <laughs> we're we're, we're awing over a photograph that just oh, okay. was up there. Um, yeah, I just, I've always been a performer. So, I mean, I was doing theater at the age of like seven. Yeah. Did you get all the roles you wanted? No, no. No. So, I, my most vivid memory of that not happening was I auditioned for How the Grinch, no. For Hunchback of Notre Dame, right? Yeah. And I was like, Esmeralda, it's Italy. perfect. Like I had long hair, I could sing. I was like, I want to be a little gypsy. What part did I get? The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, God! Oh, Hunchback. Of but isn't it, isn't it those moments that that set you on the path that drive you to always get the role that you want in in future auditions? Or I guess to like be out of my comfort zone, to know that things don't always go accordingly, but like God has a good plan for me, so I just gotta go with it. Yeah, yeah. So now she's working with you. Let's, let's, let's take a break, come back, and we'll talk about the yeah. two of you on So You Think You Can Dance, right back with Vanessa. These, these two, just, just chatting up. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens, so before we get to So You Think You Can Dance, mm -hmm. High School Musical, how, that was now 11 years ago? I can't believe it's been 11 years. I know. It's like a different life. It feels like a different life. How, how did that change the, the trajectory of your career? It was like normal person, not normal person. Yeah. <laughs> well, like always a normal person, but like the world kind of knew who I was suddenly. Yeah. It was just a very overwhelming thing, especially being 16 years old. That's like, what's yeah, so incredible. Not knowing what to do. I mean, but it's like crazy because you look at Stranger Things and I love that show and they're like 12 years old right. and they're going through the same thing. But from there on, I mean, you've gone on to do so many different things. Yeah. Do you want to do more singing too? Yeah, I do everything. You do. She does though. And, and you do it really well. Thank it's, you. It's Broadway, it's singing, it's dancing. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. I think it's really important to know the right time and place for certain things. So I try to not to rush into too many things at once. Yeah. I want to be able to fully give myself to what I want to give myself to. Sure. Yeah. So um, music's on its way. Now, when you're not working, you're spending time, I know, with this cute little creature that oh, you've got. A baby girl. <laughs> this is Dala? Did you see Darla? Darla. Darla. Yeah, I like the Australian Darla. accent. 
accent. Darla. Darla. That's Darla. Darla, yeah. Darla. That's um, Darla? Yeah, no, she's my baby girl. What, what is she? She's like a terrier mutt. I don't know. My boyfriend, Austin, his mom found her on her neighbor's Aww. balcony with no food or water for a couple of days. And finally, she was like, let me take care of this dog. If you don't, I'm calling animal services. And they gave her to her. And, yeah. um... And she's been our precious angel because his mom actually passed away and we got to inherit her. She, I, 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 so we have two dogs and mm -hmm. I find that each one's so different in terms of personality. Yeah. Does Darla have any quirks oh my in gosh. the morning or in the evening? She, well, she's, she's like such a typical dog. She could play with her ball all day long. Right. Um, and then she gets a little crack ball face where she goes. <laughs> <laughs> But she's like so chill. She's just, uh, she's my heaven. I love her. See, my dog's not like that at all. I throw it once and she's like, really? Oh, no. What do you want me to, what do, you want me to do? I, I want that? Georgia to be more excited about me. Yeah. All Georgia wants is the ball. Oh, really? Right? So we would see each other when you did release new music, when you come yeah. through the radio station. Totally. Are you in the process of recording? Because you, you, you gave uh -huh. a little twinkle when you said it's on the way. There's, there's, it's just like, I don't like talking about things before they actually happen. But we're, I'm trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together so that it all aligns correctly and then can be able she's to... Being she's being strategic. She's acting out. out. <laughs> I'm so right. I'm just going to use my hands a lot and try to distract you. One piece, one piece of the puzzle so you think you can dance. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get into that right after this. Stay with us. Be right back. What do we need to know? She's just so good on this show. You know, there's normally always a period of time where someone new comes onto the show, and we've been going for 14 seasons, yeah. so right. it's, it, it's I, I would find it anyway slightly intimidating to come into, you know, a brand new show that's been for you that's been going that long, and she just fit right. She's so brilliant. She I had just so fit, much fun. Fit. She did from the from the moment she arrived. You got you got up and you were dancing with that I guy know. Luke. There was I a know. there was a little guy who looked a bit like Austin. He Powers. He was literally Austin Powers. And I was like so charmed because it was so precious. I was like, you're so precious. And then he like does his little dance and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You're great. You're doing your thing. Like it made me happy. I want to get up on that stage and dance with you. And so he's like, oh, come on. And so I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I get up on the stage and I'm dancing with him and just like being so dumb. But, but like, you, you're, you're seated next to Nigel and Nigel he has no problem sometimes cutting to the chase. Totally. Mm -hmm. Is that more difficult for you? Oh, yeah, I the hate critique? it. critique? I you can't. Do? I can't. I'm too nice. <laughs> I have such a hard time telling people, it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I just try to be as diplomatic as possible. And Hopefully also, I'll get better. And also, she, she does give very constructive criticism, right. too. Yeah. She's been there. You've, well, you've done that. Issues. Exactly. Yeah. I've been on... I know these auditions. Like, yeah. I know how much courage it takes to get up on the stage and to, like, Put yourself out there. Is there anything you can remember that just totally blew you away when you saw it? There are these Russian twins oh, yes, who I was just, I mean, uh, I was stupefied by their dance. Like, I was just so emotional and I didn't even know why. It was just so raw and creative and emotional and it just blew me away. It was it, so cool. Yeah, it kind of made you feel uncomfortable yeah, almost I liked and weird it. as well. It was yeah. very peculiar. It was Look like they were like them. creatures. Yeah, they were like, yes, like, creatures. We, we've kind of recreated the show right here. For these, <laughs> for these Welcome to Think You Can Dance. Airs Monday nights on Fox 8 p.m. Great to see you, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nick Carter after the break. Be right back.